Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams I pastor Greater Bible Way Temple of Abu, where God is doing miraculous things. We encourage you to join us, whether it be through our service, through our Bible studies, or physically. We're located in the city of Allen at 402 Austin Avenue. So please, we hope that these words, these sermons, these Bible studies encourage you. And remember, Of this 
So not everybody is able to just sit in a mega church, sit in their office, watch ESPN and eat fried chicken. Some people in ministry does call for them to have a job outside of the church. Do I have a witness in the household today? So here it is that John was a fisherman. And John uh, was from Galilee. Uh, and here, John was described in the Bible uh, as the disciple whom Jesus loved. How many of y'all want to be loved by Jesus on today? Yeah. And John wrote this book to let everybody know that Jesus was the same. And that Jesus could save anybody that believed on him. And if I could describe this book of John by one word, the word would be life. Life is very important in a Christian's walk. We have to remember that God has called us to have life and to have it more abundantly. The old saints used to sing a, a song to him saying, if I can't wait to get to heaven where I can have milk and honey, their thought process during the struggles, during the Jim Crow days, uh, during uh, these many struggles of our people, civil rights, uh, we all seem to be of a great struggle. So they look to receive their reward after they die. But I believe that God did not call for his children to be broke. I believe that God didn't call his children to be on welfare. Heaven ain't bankruptcy, yeah. praise the Lord, and angels do not carry bridge cards. Amen. God has called for us to be blessed while we're still down here. Yeah. Do I have a witness in the house yeah. on today? This is one of the many texts that Jesus shows emotions, where Jesus actually, in St. John chapter 11, verse 35, it says that which is one of the first scriptures I actually uh, memorized as a child. Because they used to, when we used to go to church, children's church, youth uh, service, they would say, say a scripture and point to you. And you had to know something. This is before I memorized Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. That came late. But my first memory a memorized scripture was St. John chapter 11, verse 35, where it says, Jesus wept. So for all those individuals that see me crying when the Spirit moves upon me and say, I can't believe this big old man, 6'5", 6'6", 260 pounds is crying here, and because he's not in church, he must be soft, he must have sugar in his tank. Well, the God I serve displayed that same characteristic when he felt emotion, he was touched. The Bible even says, and open up, in the book of St. John, chapter 11, that not only did he love Lazarus, but he loved his mother as well. So obviously there was a relationship built upon with Lazarus and his mother. How many of y'all want to have a relationship with God? I know that, hallelujah, I know that we go through trials and tribulations. We see everybody around us getting blessed. Every time I turn around, one of my friends is getting a new car. Every time I look and turn around, my friends is getting a new house. Every time I turn around, I've been waiting on God. Praise the Lord. I ain't uh, uh, stepped out on him. I did not sleep with him. I did not sleep with her. I'm waiting on uh, I'm waiting on my Boaz. Praise the Lord. I'm waiting on my leader, but I'm still in the field working. Y'all not saying nothing in this Catholic church on this Sunday morning. Everybody's getting blessed. I look, my cousin just had a wedding on a weekend ago. Now my other cousin getting married. God, did you forget to send me my help me? Did you forget to send me somebody for me? Do I have a witness in the household today? Uh, this person just got a new job at, at the church and now she's able to buy herself a new car. And I just got to call past. I call Minister Ram to come pick me up. And they 
back in church there. Y'all not saying nothing on here on today. When is God going to bless me? And that's how most of us in church that will keep it real will say, when is well, God, when is you going to bless me? Did you forget about me? You don't know I exist. I'm doing ops faithful to your word. I'm coming to church. I'm coming to Bible study, but most saints don't want to go to Bible study. I'm coming to Sunday school. Praise the Lord. I'm eating a nasty donuts and a nasty, drinking a nasty coffee. Praise the Lord. I'm giving my tithes and offer. Praise the Lord. I'm doing everything I can, but I still have not received my blessing. Yeah. This story is, in fact, not so much geared upon what we were taught in vacation Bible school. Uh, Bible school, when we was taught in Sunday school, praise the Lord, when we was taught about Elijah rising from the dead, this is in fact based upon faith. Do you have faith in God even after you are in a deadly situation? When a cobwebs have called your name, when everybody has counted you out, praise the Lord, everybody has talked about you, everybody has lied on you. Everybody said you was not going to amount to anything. Can you have faith to stand and wait on God? Do I have a witness in the house on today? Praise the Lord. Can you wait on God? Because guess what? God has saved the best for last. Come on, put your hands together and give God a hand praise and give it. It starts off there. Jesus was not here. Uh, uh, please stay with me. Jesus was not at church. Uh, let me say that again. Maybe y'all have received that revelation. Jesus was not at church. He was not in the temple. He was not in the Saginaw. In the Saginaw. He was out doing ministry. He was out doing ministry. Let, let, let me say that again. Man, maybe some of us didn't catch that. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was not in a church. He was out doing ministry. And the word came to him while he was out doing ministry. Right? Mm -hmm. Then Lazarus, who we love, was sick. And his mother and Mary called upon him and said, Did you need to come? Because it looks like that he's about to die. He looks like he's about to die. Do you believe what Jesus responds was? Jesus said, nah, he ain't gonna die. Praise the Lord. I'll, I'll get there when I get there. Ain't that how some of us feel? Why are you waiting so long, God, to bless you? You don't see me struggling with my deals? You don't see they about to cut off my water? Yeah. You don't see they about to cut off my electricity? Right. They about to cut off my gas? I live in Michigan, praise the Lord, where it can get to a negative 20 windshield. I got these kids up in here that stop my bridge car because they shut down the government. I'm sick and tired of eating ramen noodles, all bread Cheerios. On today, I'm wearing the same dress to church uh, every day. Praise the Lord, and I'm wearing the same shoes, and, and, and it seems like I'm doing everything I can. I'm witnessing to folks. I'm inviting them to church. I'm using my vehicle to pick up people to bring them to God's house. I, I work on the on the usher board. I sing with the praise. I'm, I'm in the choir. I work the altar, and here I am praying for folks. But I need somebody to pray for me. Hallelujah. God save the best for last. God has a way of getting our attention. Amen. If God gives you everything you ask for, that means that God will be a sure day. And God is not a sure day. And God is not a pit bull. Right. God has to develop you in a way that we must let him move in due time. Yeah. And what's God's due time? His time. 
time. Yes. His time. Growing up, I know many of y'all saw this individual. Praise the Lord. Here it is. He was not a bishop. He was not a subordinate bishop. He was not a district elder. He was not even a pastor. But he was anointed. Every Saturday, I would get my Captain Crunch, sit in front of the television, and look at this guy called Papa. And Papa, here it is, was not a captain, was not a lieutenant, was not a general, was not even a sergeant, first sergeant, a corporal. He was a private. Do I have a witness in the house on today? Which means he was at the lowest place that he could be affiliated that he was a part of. But he had something that somebody wanted. So he would get beat up by this individual. Do you know why he was getting beat up? Because he had olive oil. Y'all not listening to me here on today. Here it is, the individual is living, trying to live his best life. Yeah. And he's going about his business and there's always this one individual yeah. that beats him up. And we forget that before Popeye could get the spinach or something he did. Right? Because he was getting beat up. But it seems like when he grabbed the can, he was so powerful that he switched the can. Crushed a can. And the spinach in the can would fly in his mouth. And then he would be energized and could beat the guy up. But you don't know that how his hand, the scene before, was touching olive oil. He was holding hands with olive oil. So before he knew that he had that power, that strength that came from God, the power was already there. God has called us to be faithful even through our struggle. We got power even if we didn't know we had power. God has not forgot about you. God has not forgot about your mother. God has not forgot about your family. God has called you to serve God. It's time for us to stand on this rock. God said for me and my church, I'm going to serve the Lord. I don't care what they're doing down the street. Give me more, give me more, give me more. Give me more, give me more, give me more. 
more, give me more, give me more. Give me more, give me more, give me more. And we're not even thanking God for what he has given us. We're not thanking God for what he has already blessed us with. See, we have to be thankful for what we got. Be faithful over a few things. Then I will make you ruler over many. So that book down have the city you used to drive. Make sure you change that away. So when you get that new Cadillac, and everybody look and say, how does he get that? Because she was faithful over a few things. And God has made her ruler over me. And here it is, Jesus is, 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 is about to do a miracle for the ages. A miracle for the ages. Oh, my God. 
Yes. 